Hello, this is Canterbury Trails Farm, and I thought I was done making all my Christmas videos and uploading them when I had another idea and decided to do this really quick. So what I used, let me tell you what we do. I did a dish towel is what it is. It's a cotton dish towel. It looks sort of like Santa's clothes is what we have here. And what I used was a scarf loom, but I just used the one side. I didn't use the whole scarf loom. And I used, let's see how many pegs we used. 37 pegs. And I am using the ones that are like the narrow, it's not the larger, uh, wider pegs. It's closer together. It gives you a more dense and tighter together knit fabric. Before we get started, it's very important to point out that we need to use 100% cotton yarn. If you use acrylic, it's not going to absorb water. The water is just going to sort of roll off and you want it to absorb since it's a dish towel. So I use the sugar and cream, the you know, popular cotton yarn that's used for dish cloths and that kind of thing. I used, let's see, these were, they're just red, the 2.5 ounce skein. I used almost a full one of the red. And then I had the big skeins of the white, and so these, I didn't use hardly any of this really. I think this is a four, four ounce. So you need one 2.5 skein of red, probably a 2.5 skein of white, and another small skein of black. And then I used a, a stiffer piece of yellow craft felt to make the buckle out of. You could cross stitch or embroidery the buckle on if you want but I did that at first and I didn't like the way it looked and I thought that the felt gave it an interesting texture and we'll talk about that in a minute I just blanket stitched it right onto the front it, and it gave it a interesting dimension and t texture to it it was it's fairly easy it's just basically long stripes so I did a cuff and I'm gonna do a cuff on both ends to again give it a more dimension to make it look like the white fur part of the end of Santa's jacket. I knitted for six inches, approximately six inches, and then I folded it over and I made the cuff. If you don't know how to make a cuff, go to my hat video and I'll show you how to make a cuff. I don't want to make it, do it again in this video because it's redundant. So just head on over. If you don't know how to make a cuff, it's really easy to that hat video. So six inches, I folded it over, so which made a three inch cuff. Then I tied a knot, switched to the red, and I loom knitted for eight inches the red. Then I switched to the black, and I knitted for about three and three fourths. You probably go ahead and do four. I think that's probably what I was aiming for. In fact, I think the the end one about four inches would be fine. Then I switched to red again and I loom knitted for another eight inches. And then for the end, I've loom knitted for six inches and we're gonna take it off the loom and do the cuff real quick. So the six inches, because when it gets folded over, it's, it's gonna be the three inches at the end, so. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna sew, because we've, we've turned the cuff over so it made sort of like a tube. You could leave that if you wanted to. If you wanted to for a gift, it would be cute. If you wanted to put like a wooden spoon or a red spoon or something through there, that would be cute. But I'm going to sew mine together. So let's take this off of the loom. I'm going to leave myself some yarn to work with here. I'm going to use, if you follow my videos, you know I use long steel upholstery needles. The length and that pointy tip really let you get it off of the loom very easily. You wanna, don't cinch it, just get it off the loom. And then I'm just gonna fold it over. And since we can't do a cuff again, because we already did a cuff at the beginning here, so we're gonna make our own cuff. I'm just going to line this up with the white, and I'm just going to sew it. What I'm sort of doing is a sort of a combination of whip stitch, straight stitch, wherever it looks like it needs it on there. And I'm trying to sew just on the white so the, the yarn doesn't show on the other side. 
Okay, when I get down here at the end, I want to sew my end together. So again, I'm just going to whip stitch down the edge. And for this side over here, I'm going to come up here. Since you can't really do a knot really easy because it is obviously knitted and not actual fabric. I'm going to just tie a knot. I'm going to stick the tail inside that I'm fixing to sew that shut. So if, you, if I was to give it away, I would probably fold it up. It looks cute. Fold it up. Like a, it's a dish towel, so um, you can do it wider if you wanted to, but I was just trying to, I mean, the, the wider it is, it's going to take you longer. So it turned out really cute. I really like it. Let's see what it measures total. It measures about 25 inches. So I would keep it this length. Uh, it's a good length, but if you wanted to make it double so you could fold it and put this like more in the center, you could do that. Um, the problem is you're going to have to find a wider loom. And the scarf loom is just about the widest one you can find for cheap. There, I do have a very, very long loom that's adjustable that you could actually do clothes on and stuff. But it's not, it wasn't that cheap. Um, it's Christmas though, you can probably find a lot of good deals. So if you wanted a really long one, go out there and look on Amazon. This is just the standard scarf loom. And since you're only using it you know, for a season every year, I would just do that. I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice width for drying your hands. And do remember, you really, really need to make sure you just have the cotton. Don't get acrylic. And um, this is the four weight of four, just in case anyone wants some medium weight. That's basically what I use in almost all my pro, um, projects. If it's smaller, like if I bought a big lot on eBay or a garage sale or something, I usually double up to make the weight of the yarn thicker. So there's the Santa suit dishcloth. It it took me say 12 hours, maybe more, but a fun project. It looks cute and it wasn't hard at all, just stripes. So I hope this gives you some ideas and I hope all you all have a Merry Christmas. I'll talk to you later. Bye.